Kia ora. Hello there. My name is Dr. Shiva. How are you today? Good. What brings you in today? So you're after a full integrated health assessment? Mm hmm So we're going to be looking at your physical, your mental, your emotional and spiritual health. Mm hmm Full holistic check. You would like to do some integrated health testing and sampling. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Let me just have a look here. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So you're after the holistic functional testing. Perfect. Uh, before we begin, I'm just going to ask you a series of questions, okay? What are your health concerns? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yep. We can definitely uh, run a few tests to make sure that everything's okay. Before going into diagnostics and prescribing, we do like to thoroughly test for everything. That way we can have a fully integrated understanding of your health and any issues that may be causing you distress, okay? Perfect. Can you tell me about your medical history? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. Okay. And uh, your family history, any health concerns that may impact you? Mm -hmm. That can be on any level. impacted you emotionally. It's okay. perfect. We can definitely look into some ways of managing that for you. And tell me, are you on any medications? Do you smoke? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you seeing any other practitioners of any kind in terms of integrated healthcare? So, uh, the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, any practitioners that may impact the session? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you? interested in any referrals today that are applicable to those regions of your health? Okay. Alright. Okay. We're going to start with the physical assessment first. Mm -hmm. So this will be a full physical exam. Yes. Uh, do I have your consent to touch your body and run a few tests. Perfect. Please keep in mind that this consent can be withdrawn at any time. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling discomfort or distress, just let me know and we can take a break if needed. Good. So 
First we're going to do the regions of the face. I'm going to begin with an eye exam, okay? Perfect. Alright. Now, I would like you to look straight ahead. You need to look between my eyes. Mm -hmm. Don't move your eyes about or look at the light that I am about to shine into your eyes, okay? Perfect. So, I'm just going to come a little closer. And keeping your eyes focused in between my eyes, okay? Alright. So I'm just studying your pupils, yeah? And seeing how they respond to the light. Can you please look up? Okay. Keep looking up. Alright, bring your eyes all the way up to here. Good. Very good. Now look down. your eyes still nice and wide open. Just bring the pupil and focus down here. Try to keep the eyes as wide as possible. Very good. Good job. Alright, blink for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, we're just going to go back in again, looking straight ahead. Now moving backwards, could you please track the light with your eyes? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Again. Very good. Good. Goodbye, well done. Excellent. Now, looking at my nose. Look at the light. Look at the light. Look at the light. Good. Look at my finger. Look at my finger. Look at my finger. Very good. Now, I'm just going to lift up your eyelids. So I'm just going to come here and just pull the eyelids up and have a look. Good. Very good. Put the eyes down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Good, 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 good. Can you roll your eyes? Closing your eyes down, I'm just going to place my fingers over the eyes themselves. And look. Okay. Very good. And those lines of hardness or tension. And pressing in on the sides. And down below, just within the socket itself. On the brows, the brow bone. Very, very good. Okay, I'm just going to make some notes. Okay. Now, 
how I would like to have a feel around your face. Perfect. So let's go ahead and gently press onto the forehead. Run my hands across the forehead. Coming down along the temples. And the cheeks. Right my fingers down the nose. your cheeks for me like this. Good. And smile for me. Yep. Frown for me. examine the skin. So, just doing a look at the forehead here. The cheeks. The nose. I guess I'm not seeing any signs of irritation or redness, which is good. And lifting the head up once more. your lymph nodes now. Okay, so I'm just lifting the chin up. Okay, I'm just going to place my hands on the lips. Okay, not too much swelling or anything like that. Are they tender? Good. Okay. No pain? Good. The lymph nodes can just kind of swell up um, during certain rough times of the year, so Seasonal changes can cause the lymph nodes to swell. It's not too serious, it's usually just a sign of the body changing to the environment around us. But if you're not feeling anything that is particularly painful, then you are usually fine. Perfect. your mouth and tonsils now. Perfect. Okay. I have my tongue depressor here. I'd like you to open your mouth for me. Okay, nice and wide. I'm just going to press this down onto the tongue and have a look inside. Say, ah, uh, for me. Ah, uh, there you go. Very good. It's almost like you're yawning. any changes in colour to your tongue? No? Perfect. Just a quick the teeth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Not experiencing any tooth pain at all. Perfect. Okay. Close enough now. Did a very good job.
going to check your ears now, okay? Perfect, so it's going to start on this ear. Looks good. I'm going to now look at the other one, okay? Now I'd like to do a quick hearing test with this tuning fork here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to strike the tuning fork and I want you to tell me when the sound disappears. Mm -hmm. And I will have you close your eyes for this test. Perfect. Closing your eyes down. We'll begin. Good, 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 good. Good. Good, perfect. You can open your eyes. Perfect. Alright. I want to check your temperature now. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to get you to lift up your arm and we'll place this under your armpit. Okay. Perfect. So, just lifting up the arm. I'm going to place this underneath. Yep. 
and resting the arm down, perfect. Check your blood pressure, okay? So, I would like you to take your arm and rest it on the table here. Perfect. Alright. I'm just going to... If you could just lift up your arm for me. Excellent. and healthy. So I'll just release you from the cuff. Take your arm out. Perfect. Alright. Alright. So I'll just take a moment to listen to your heart, okay? I'm going to do this over your shirt, so I'm just going to press this up against your chest. Just taking gentle, regular breaths for me. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Got a nice healthy heart. I don't have to worry about that at all. I do want to check your scalp before we move on to the part of the test where I have you turn around. So I'm just going to bring this line up to around your hairline. And if you could just lift your shirt up and then pull it around the front. Excellent. Thank you. Alright. Just want to have a look at your back very quickly. So. Okay, just leaning forward. Thank you. Now, let's have a look at what's happening here. Okay. Tap. 
any of those taps uh, feel different on either side. Okay. I'm just going to run my fingers down. Would you like to receive any uh, chiropractic adjustments today? Yes, I am just sensing a little bit of tension around the back and around the spine. So we can do that for you, it's no problem at all. We'll do it after we take the samples. Some notes. Right. And now I just want to listen to your breath through the back. Alright. Now, I'm just going to press this onto your back. Take a deep breath for me. And again. Perfect. And one more. Very good. Cup eye, well done. I would like to do a few measurements of the face and neck area. Mm, perfect. Just going to come a little closer. Alright. So I'm just going to take the measuring tape and I just want to measure certain regions of the face. Excellent. So just want to make sure that things are relatively symmetrical. Measuring from the side of the nose to the outside of the face. Perfect. And the length of the nose. Excellent. And your forehead. Perfect. And we're comparing the nose from the side of the face on the side. From the bottom of the eye down to the jaw. Okay, on the other side. Perfect. Lifting your head up, please. Thank you. So once at the neck down to the clavicle. That looks good. And the other side. Is this? Forehead. Excellent. And now I just want to measure the space between your eyes. And to compare that to eye width itself. It's roughly around one inch. So I just make sure the other side is the same. Perfect. And now I would just like to measure the circumference of the neck. Perfect. So I'm just going around like this. And, okay. Perfect. That all looks good. like to 
to check your reflexes now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be hitting this against your knees and seeing how your legs react to it. Okay, so we're just going to come to the side a little bit, giving your legs a little bit of space. Good. 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 And now I want to do the same with the inside of the arm. If I could just get you to lay your arms flat on the table next to me. Excellent. So. Good. Good. like you to do is to take your index finger, mm -hmm, point to your nose, uh -huh, and then touch my finger. Okay, so you do it. Good. Again. Good. Again. Good. Again. Good. One more. Goodbye, well done. I'd like to test how well your skin reacts to sensation. Okay. I want you to close your eyes and I'm going to be either touching your face with this fluffy side or this pointed side. Mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me if it's fluffy or pointy. Perfect. Closing your eyes down. Excellent. Good. Good. Perfect. Good. Squishmallow here. It's actually a pen, but it's a unicorn squishmallow. I want you to give it a good squeeze in either hand, okay? So, both get here. Give it a good squeeze. Good. And the other hand. Good, 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 good. Good job. my hands. Good. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Very good. And I would like to check your pulse. Okay. So, stick your 
hand and I'm just going to press my fingers over the pulse and watch the clock. Perfect, and the pulse on your neck as well. Perfect. Okay, that is all for the physical part of this assessment. Mm -hmm. Your health looks really good, everything is operating and working the way should. I'm not sensing any alarm bells whatsoever. Now I would like to do the functional sampling. Perfect. So, I'm going to be taking three samples from you today. Mm -hmm. So that will include a hair sample, mm -hmm. a saliva sample, mm -hmm. and a breath sample. Mm -hmm. So the hair sample provide insight to environmental mold toxicity to metal and heavy metal testing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. so we only need one to two strands. Yes. And I will cut quite close to the root as well. Take these tweezers and I'm going to grab a couple of strands here and just wrap strands around this and cut. Perfect. your first one. Mm -hmm. so now I would like to do a saliva sample. So this will provide insight to your endocrine hormonal system, including your adrenal hormones and your reproductive hormones. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take a sample from your tongue and around the gums and also the teeth. Okay? You can just open your Lastly, I would like to do a breath sample to determine your gut health, bacteria, and immunity, okay? So what I need you to do is that this is a little breathing device, and I just need you to breathe in. a week for all of the tests to clear. Mm -hmm. And when the results come through, I'd like you to book an appointment. We'll give you a call. And we can go through the results together. And if there's any points of concern, we can form together an action plan for your health. Okay? going to now move on to your mental health. We'll start with cognition and physical mental health and then we'll move on to psychological health, emotional health. Okay? So, can you please tell me what day it is? Perfect. Mm-hmm. Excellent. What was 
the weather like this morning? Good. Mm -hmm. What is six times nine? Mm -hmm. Four plus twelve. Thirty-five divided by five. Mm -hmm. And eleven minus eight. Eleven minus eight. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you please tell me? What colour is this? Good. And I want you to do is follow my finger. Okay? So follow my finger. Good. Good. Keep following. Keep following. Very good. Taking a couple of notes about your psychological health, your emotional health, if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, tell me about your health and well being. How are you? Mm. Okay. Mm. okay. Things are really hard at the moment. We are at a point in time where a lot of things are happening in reaction to other things. So I completely understand why you feel that way. I'm also affected in the same way. Mm. Do you have a trusted confidant in your life? So it could be a therapist, it could be a family member, it could be a spiritual advisor, mm -hmm. counselor, loved one, friend. Perfect. Okay. And is that working for you? Okay. We can definitely arrange something else for you, if you like. Happy to make any referrals that you need. Okay? Perfect. Okay. Tell me about your stress management. Okay. Mm-hmm. social media are you consuming currently? Okay. Yeah. yeah, we have so much access to information now. Maybe more than what the human mind can tolerate. So, something to keep in mind when you are using social media. It is designed to stimulate the fight or flight response in your mind. Yeah, so uh, don't use social media before bed because of the way that it kind of messes with your brain chemistry because it uses um, 
algorithms to sell products. The best way to sell products is to excite the person that is being sold to. So it can be quite risky to use social media when you are not in a place to make informed decisions about what you're being shown. The vagus nerve. Okay, so the vagus nerve is the part of the brain that activates the rest and digest response, or the parasympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of ways we can do that. You can do a breathing exercise, which we can go through right now if you like. Perfect. So, what you do? Make sure both your legs and feet are firmly planted on the floor. Perfect. Now, we're going to breathe on a series of six counts. Breathing in with six counts and exhaling with eight counts. Okay? Like this. Once more. Really making sure that you're breathing into your diaphragm, so your, your belly. You can place your hand over your belly while you do this breathing. Mm. Once more. Another method that we can do is called bilateral stimulation. Mm -hmm. It requires both sides of the brain to be used. So that kind of puts you into a relaxed state. It's especially good if you have been on social media or on your phone for a long period of time. You just need to come back into reality in the present. Mm -hmm. So, one way we can do this is by paying attention to our peripheral. Mm -hmm. You can pick out something, say, wooden objects, and ask yourself, what wooden objects can I see in my peripheral? Mm -hmm. yeah. What can you see in your peripheral? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. This is really good if you don't want to do any movements. The other one we can do is a few type of bilateral stimulation that is more effective because it's faster. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you place your hand on your chin to make sure that your face stays centered. Taking your other hand you want to track your finger with your eyes. Bringing it all the way Go whatever speed is comfortable for you. Yeah. So I can do it for you if you like. Mm -hmm. Holding your chin in place. Yep. Yeah. I'll just take my finger and I'll go like this. And remember to breathe. It's best to breathe with your mouth closed to tell your brain that you are in a safe space. Mm hmm. I feel good. I hope you're feeling very relaxed. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I just want to touch quickly on spiritual health, and then we'll do those chiropractic adjustments. Mm -hmm. so. Do you have a belief system, and do you think that? Certain aspects of that belief system may impact your 
of wall health and well-being. Mm -hmm. So a belief system can be anything from a spiritual practice to a religion to acknowledgement of a higher power. Okay. Mm -hmm. And would you like me to arrange for you to meet with a practitioner of that spiritual belief? hope and faith uh, to iron out any concerns that you might have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This also goes for cultural practices. Is there anything within the culture of your life that you may wish to seek guidance from from someone who is a more proficient individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how are you engaging with the culture that you find yourself resonating with? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's very important that we have different facets of our life that are enriched with culture mm -hmm. gives us that sense of community because we are a social species and this doesn't have to necessarily be in person it can be over the internet or anything you like but as long as you are engaging with other people uh, you can be sure to uh, maintain my hand. Fine, okay? Excellent. Good. 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 Once more. Good. 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 Take a deep breath. Very nice. I'm just going to place my hand under your armpit. Shoulder from the front. I'm going to take your arm and I'm just going to quickly bring it back. Okay, three, two, one. Good. And once more. Good. And the same on the other side. So up and under. Grabbing the arm and back. And back. Good. Okay. On the shoulders back. Excellent. So I'm just going to run my hands down your back again. Let's do 
see if we have any other tension points, but I think we have got what we need. And if you need me to, I can book you with a full chiropractic session. Okay. Feel free to turn around. How are you feeling? Good. Do you have any questions to know? Okay. Mm. From what we tested today, what we looked at, everything seems to be fine. Mm -hmm. We will wait for those tests to come back before we make a final conclusion. Uh, and we'll book another appointment and go through the results and just run through your levels of all of your hormones and anything that could be occurring and even if anything isn't too sinister it will be good for you to know mm -hmm. perfect okay. well I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day mm -hmm. and keep in mind those vagus nerve techniques if you're feeling overwhelmed or distressed okay perfect thank you so much for coming by it was wonderful to be Not too well, my friend. <laughs>